We're just trying to change the world here, people. Oh, really? Bad idea. Hey, welcome back to Oh Really Radio Show 131E. This is the Bad Idea segment, recorded Friday, November 4th, 2016. Yes, where we dismantle the current events for you, edutainment through mostly rational conversations that make you go, Oh, really? I'm your host, Andy Cowan, with my usual suspects, David O'Connor, and Stephen Griffith, and Amber Sucker. Welcome. <laughs> All right. Wow. For those of you that are actually playing this on high speed, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see what else. What else has the cat dragged in for us this evening? Uh, the Washington Post. Uh, well, yeah, I suppose the cat would drip bring in the Washington Post. Oh wait, it's the Bundys. Gosh mm. darn it, they're back in the news again. No. Uh, in the Nevada desert, the Bundy family warns of another standoff. You know, no there's kidding. more bird sanctuaries out there that need protecting by good old Americans. Oh. Yeah. yeah. This <laughs> fucking family of cock gobbling shit gibbons is. I'm just done with them. <laughs> <laughs> and so is is, uh -oh. is is that the name for this cock gobbling shit gibbons? <laughs> <laughs> well, I do declare, Amber. <laughs> I'm sorry. You read my bio. I, I do believe I have the vapors. I do declare. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. <clears throat> well, less than a week after uh, being acquitted at trial, uh, at least of some of the cases, you know, the whole conspiracy to a uh, conspiracy thing, which was basically the government trying to let's go for the conspiracy trial that's never going to stick that's really really hard but you want to do it anyway okay fine oh look you lost great good good job guys mm -hmm. um considering everything else was contingent upon the conspiracy charge and that's why it all fell apart yeah good job guys um so after that trial uh nevada rancher ryan bundy different bundy this time said another protest action will be justified if President Obama goes ahead with plans to create a huge national monument abutting the Bundy family's ranch here. Mm. It, okay, is, there, is there such a plan? So, quote, Absolutely, that's the best thing in the world for people to do, Bundy said Monday in a telephone interview from an Oregon jail. <laughs> <laughs> where he's being held pending a February trial related to a separate armed standoff in 2014 uh, with federal agents at his family's ranch. This is the one where they actually had snipers on a bridge fo facing, you know, federal officers. That was a great time. I was proud to be a part of that one. Not it's illegal really. to point a weapon at a federal officer unless you're white and Mormon. It's like a reverse yeah. Ruby Ridge. It's crazy. It's crazy. I think I remember. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Go on. <laughs> Tangent. Says, read the Declaration of Independence, he said. It was right there that if the government becomes abusive, it's our right and our duty to abolish that government. If the government won't restrain itself, whatever happens is their own fault. Is this where today's Facebook question came from? No, but it certainly uh, it certainly dovetails nicely. Um, I asked on Facebook uh, some followers... Uh, which of the two following documents has the rule of law? The Declaration of Independence or the Treaty of Tripoli? Ooh. Which one is a legally binding document? Has the force of law? It's the Treaty of Tripoli. That's one Both. answer. Both, says Stephen. David, what do you think? Well, it's not typically wise to vote against, Stephen. I'm going to go with the, just the Treaty of Tripoli. The Treaty of Tripoli is an actual legal treaty. It is a document that bears, you know, a, a government weight. The Declaration of Independence is simply a notice of intent. It has no bearing Ooh. on anything whatsoever. So when people are using it to... <clears throat> do this. <laughs> Read the Declaration of Bet. It's a meaningless document, essentially. It is one of our founding documents in that it got us where we are today, but none of it has any bearing on what we actually are. 
Interesting. And again, culturally, I could see, yeah, it has bearing anything else. But legally, yeah. You're, legally, it's nothing. You're right about that. It's simply going, hey, isn't this cool? This is what we're doing. It's not a formal thing. Right. Mm-hmm. Whereas the Very Treaty of cool. AAA, which states that the United States government is in no way founded upon the Christian religion, is a legally binding document. I like a mom of Anne here asking, I can't help but wonder how much the Mormon church has contributed to the Bundy's legal fees. That's, that's a <laughs> really good question. And probably more than we're ever going to know. That's a that's a, a definite. Uh, we we're speaking of shadowy organizations in the last show, <laughs> uh, so I suppose the Mormon Church would be a shadowy organization, <laughs> you know, right up there with the NSA. So, um, well, they don't like people standing in public property filming their main church. No, no, they don't. They I've seen documentarians kicked off of that. Yeah, this goes, you know, people in essentially men in black suits coming out and going, "You can't film here." I think I think some of that is also they they don't want people to see who comes and goes and document that and also they want any pictures of the of the temple to be sanctioned uh, as memorabilia and you know you you can only take a picture of the temple from the right side this is mm -hmm. its best side you know that kind of thing um, I, I think it's branding in many ways with that. Um, but I don't think that's necessarily legal to do on public property. It's right there. I can see it, therefore I can take a picture of it. But, <clears throat> okay, so uh, Ryan Bundy is angry that Obama, uh, before he is leaves black. office, exists as sorry, a person. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> exists as <laughs> well, a person in this universe. Um, that he may use his executive power under the 1906 Antiquities Act to impose new restrictions on gold butt. Butte. Butte. No, I just <laughs> want to say butt in That's relation right. to the Bundys. A, uh, yeah, right. Which is a 350,000 acre parcel of pristine desert wilderness just south of the Bundy family's ranch. The Obama administration officials said that federal officials were rattled by the Oregon verdict. But individuals briefed on the process say the White House is pushing ahead with plans to create a monument that would permanently preserve a federally owned tract within the Soaring Peaks exotic red sandstone formations and imperiled desert tortoise population and thousands of ancient Native American rocks etchings called petroglyphs. So um, I, d I was unaware that that was actually going through, and I'm really glad that it is. Harry Reid's leading it. Senate Minority Leader Harry Harry M. Reid, uh, who happens to be from Nevada, uh, has worked with protecting the area for years, describing the monument designated as one of his final goals before retiring this year. Wait, he's retiring? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that he was retiring, too. Yeah, so that's one of the ones where there's going to be chance weird. they could take that seat However, <laughs> uh, interesting. I did not know that. Okay, well, that's. You see, you learn all sorts of things when you dig into other stories. You never know what you're going to find. It's like you a get, box I, of chocolates down here. I, I love the continued commentary in there. It's going, Bundy forty, Bundy forty four wouldn't say whether he and his family would encourage some kind of anti government action over Gold Butte because. I never say what we will do. But as whether <laughs> violence was ever justified against an abusive government, Bundy said, ask George Washington. <laughs> oh my god, he's, he's this sovereign citizen baloney. Bullshit. Yeah, the, right. uh, bullshit. Well, we, we see it that mm -hmm. way. They, for them, it's dead serious. They they which, look you in the eyes and be like, what's so funny? Which, let me do a quick, a quick tangent here, because it's hilarious about the sovereign citizen thing. There's a story I actually, listen, I've Thank you, Andy. You've gotten me to listen to a lot of freaking podcasts. <laughs> um, I've got another uh, one for you One of them later, was <laughs> on... It was one of the NPR ones. Uh, I don't think it was Snap Judgment, but it was one of those ones. I'll try to find a link to it somewhere. Uh -huh. This girl, um, her parents decided to move essentially out to the middle of freaking nowhere. Completely cut off as much contact with civilization as possible to raise their kids how they want according to their own godly principles. 
Their children were birthed at home, and the midwife was convinced not to file the paperwork of the birth. They have no, uh, no yes. mm-hmm. none of the social security, no work history, and everything else. Whenever the kids were like, you know, even like her oldest brother or sister, I think was like 26, and like, hey, can we go get a job? And the parents were like, no, you can't. Stay here. Completely she eventually left. Person, yeah. And she eventually left, this 18-year-old girl, left, and then, okay, Go ahead and try to get a job. Uh, you don't have social security. You don't have work history. As far as the government's concerned, you actually do not exist. Mm-hmm. And there was they actually interviewed one of the one of these major sovereign people go for this. And he's like, no, she's living the greatest life. It's what we all wish. They could be completely undocumented to have the government have no control over you whatsoever. And it's like, yeah, but I'm pretty sure she'd like to. I don't know, eat and attend school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like you know, there's like Maybe. kind of. This government contract thing, yeah, it's it's a maybe, little bit maybe have a, uh, a bit socialism license? here, but you know it's it's a thing. You know, you live in the country; the country protects you. It's kind of a it's a it's a, a hardcore deal. cognitive dissonance that just made me just girly go, what? <laughs> yeah, it the agendas that that these folks have. Oh God, it's it's They're... amazing. It's amazing. They're like they our all... version of Romney gypsies. No, because those people tend to be better. Um, yeah, and have some kind of they seriously. tend to be yeah. slightly better. If you're if you're a male gypsy, they don't care. They'll you know get a job, whatever. If you're uh, a woman growing up in that society, mm-hmm. a lot of the the girls, the parents intentionally keep them out of school, mm. and they basically learn how to sew yep. and how to cook, and they're their married job by is... fifteen. Yeah, or sixteen. Yeah, their job my, is to be a wife and a mother. My other thing is, is with, with the sovereign citizen movement is I'm going okay. You want to be a true sovereign citizen, have no government, have any control over you whatsoever. Okay, what do you do? I know there's a fair number of you out there. Why don't you? And I'm pretty sure you're all in contact with each other somehow. Why don't you all get together, pool all of your resources, and buy a damn island? Yeah, and then go live by yourself on an island. With no government control whatsoever, not even your own, <laughs> done, problem solved, and oh look, you don't have to, you know, beat your chest and say how great you are and everything else, unless that's your goal. And if you're willing to admit that all this is nothing more than narcissistic fantasy and utter like I'm the great hero against the government, then I might respect you if you actually, you know, say that and admit that crap. But otherwise, shut up and go buy an island. <laughs> So to to bring it back to uh, to the Bundys, uh, I'm actually going to turn this bad idea segment kind of into a good ideas thing. Um, oh. mm-hmm. Only as uh, the Bundys are essentially irrelevant. They're going to they're going to make it back in the news. We'll hear about them again. You know, they're on trial. That they'll go on trial for the thing that happened in Nevada on on the bridge overpass and everything about their uh, one million dollars in fees and fines for the the grazing rights uh, for the Bureau of Land Management. That's going to happen in February 2017. Uh, but the the best upshot of this is just what randomly stumbled into, and that's that Obama has created or expanded 27 national monuments, which is more than any other president since FDR. Mm-hmm. So he's actually <clears throat> been taking land, oh no, and Saving it, putting it aside, you know, making it a a refuge. He did. Uh, I don't know. I think he like tripled the size of the uh, of the aquatic reserve uh, near Hawaii. Something huge. It was at least double. I thought maybe triple. Uh, mm-hmm. So he's he's been doing some really amazing things to protect this country in ways that other presidents they've done a little bit of but not as much um, and it's something that I believe only the executive branch can do I think yeah so it's good um, so I'll just I'll just leave it at that and we'll uh, we'll check back in with the Bundys because they can't stay out of the headlines they I'm even, sure we'll hear about them they even do it you know direct from jail so that's nice. <laughs> so that was uh, that was kind of a, a little silver lining to that one, at least. 
Uh, but boy, we got a oh no. What what was added here? We got another another story in here. Okay. Um, <laughs> we were talking about Russia earlier, of course, uh, with all their saber rattling. They've been in the news a great deal. Apparently now Norway is one of their targets. Norway. Norway. Why? Norway is now a nuclear target due to the deployment of 330 U.S. Marines in its borders. Mm. That uh, and the threat Norway poses to Russia's bear cavalry. <laughs> you will not stand against our bear cavalry, comrade. Yeah, pe people don't realize this. In, Nor in Norway, when you go to high school, kids are all given shotguns. Why? Because of bears. <laughs> when you get to the high school, you put that. your shotgun up. When you leave high school, you pick it up and go with you, because... Half the time you're going to school, it's in the dark and bears. So, so you're you're being completely truthful right now. That, no, I mean, that is what happens. Truthful. It's a story yeah. a while ago where they literally they are given shotguns because it's to protect themselves from bear attacks. Yeah. I think weird facts you don't expect. Like, huh? Okay then. <laughs> Oh, uh, Mama Van, yeah, I, I see that you uh, you mentioned that uh, Obama won't step into the Dakota pipeline issue. Um, I think we're probably going to see him step in as early as next week. I, I think there's there's overwhelming yeah. pressure for him for him and the executive branch to do so, uh, and he already has uh, once. You know, he, he postponed or whatever, and I guess the. The, the limits on that uh, that expired and then they could they went back to business as usual and brought in all sorts of it's it's a ridiculous situation there um, but by the way uh, checking in at the uh, it, it didn't help all that Facebook check-ins that that didn't really help no. yeah but it was a great show of support and it, and it got a lot of uh, a lot of press on it so good for that. But for the actual thing that it was supposed to do, which was confuse local law enforcement about who was actually there, yeah, that they don't really no. That's not a thing. They'd find out. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> There's this thing geotagging. Yeah, it can be done. They know where you are anyway. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so anyway, back to um, and we'll discuss the pipeline uh, as as more information actually comes up. Right now, it's just it's just a giant protest. Um, the, well, the warning, uh, the next show might just be us screaming. It might. Well, apparently, it the might. Army Corps are examining possible rerouting of the Dakota Access Pipeline. Excellent. Good. So I, I, thought, I thought I heard something about that. Um, so, yeah. So, something's being done. Mm -hmm. Who told them to do it? I don't know. Maybe it was Obama. Thanks, Obama. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's a statement from President Obama as of Tuesday. Aha! So there you go. There you go. He is stepping in. Just uh, he's not showing up, but he's stepping in. Yeah. Uh, come on. He, he's got somebody to campaign for right now. He can't get off the trail. Come on. He's got things to do. <laughs> things to do. National parks to open. Things like that. Yep. Okay. So uh, back to Norway. Um, you know, it confuses me looking at this because, you know, okay, they are now a nuclear target and they're saying it's because of the 330 U.S. Marines. But I remember the Cold War. I was born during the middle of it. Um, so I had to deal with the 80s and yeah. all of that fun stuff. And no, I remember, no, Norway was, Norway is hardcore our ally. It's a, it's a NATO country. Yeah. And has been since 1949. In fact, NATO, or Norway actually has tunnels dug into mountains where U.S. military equipment was stored, just in case. And is probably that still there. It has been yeah. a training ground for <clears throat> NATO troops for decades. Mm -hmm. And now is when Russia's having a problem? This is saber-rattling to try to affect act action. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, refuting the angry Russian reaction to the deployment, Norway's defense minister, Inri Eriksson Soind, said there is no objective reason for the Russians to react to this. But the Russians are reacting at the moment in the same way toward almost everything the NATO countries are doing. <laughs> That's fair. Existing. Yeah. <laughs> Existing. So it is absolute saber-rattling. 
Uh, but, you know, just be aware that the sabers that they're rattling go boom mm -hmm. in a big, big way. And those are the ones that they're that they're wanting to use. Would they use nuclear weapons against a country that is on their border? It would be blatant nuclear aggression. It would not be like the Cuban Missile Crisis where nuclear weapons were literally being parked off the coast of the United States. It would be aggression against mm -hmm. classic ground forces with a nuclear arsenal. And it would result in the absolution of the Russian state through nuclear fire. In truth, though, again, going back to mad doctrine it also involved the annihilation of almost every single nato ally and most of the united states because yep. if they decide to get to that point where russia goes okay we're gonna hit the button and we're gonna launch something over here they realize the response time they realize the response protocols and realize it will have no option but to fire its own in which case everything goes everybody goes up yeah. Hell, at that point, we'll probably see India and Pakistan fire at each other just because, well, what the hell, why not? <laughs> you know, everything's going yeah. to pot. Let's end this crap right now. China will fire. North Korea will probably try to fire. Israel uh, <laughs> Israel launches its missiles at Iran yeah. and Iraq. <laughs> it would be the end of life as we know it. it yeah. It'd be different for those yeah. of us that survived, and there would be some I, I don't survived. really wish to live in the world of Fallout, thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> Not big on that, yeah, yeah, but... But this is the kind of saber rattling that we're talking about here. There are dire implications to this. So even if they're not serious, we should still take them seriously. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's why it's in bad ideas. Nuclear nuclear war is always a bad idea. And remember, Trump wants <laughs> nuclear proliferation and doesn't know why we don't use nukes. So, okay. Why is <laughs> why is DonaldJTrump.com slash slash Trump card? Why is this in our show notes? <laughs> I threw that in there. Why? Why? Because don't give him money. No. No. <laughs> why is it's your it? exclusive why? limited edition Trump black card? Mm-hmm. Why? But it. Uh, but mm. Ooh, why? Sweet <laughs> Christmas. Don't give con men money, people. You can take it out if you want. It was kind of <laughs> funny. Um, well, make I mean, a strong a statement. Idea. Make a strong statement by accepting and carrying your Trump black card today. You'll be standing yeah. with me this final month of the campaign against all caps the onslaught of. Crooked Hillary's negative ads and against the failed Obama policies of the past. Contribute forty nine dollars or more now and activate your elite membership. Yeah. Forty nine dollars minimum. Yeah, minimum. Well, there I is mean, an the other category. Mm -hmm. The only statement that you're making there is that you support an animal fondling maggot liquor. Like I, why would you want that? <laughs> That's why it's in bad ideas. Why? Yeah, it belongs there. <laughs> okay. We'll leave it right there. Under bad ideas. <laughs> All right. Bad ideas. Damn.